Hi guys, it's me Karen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a coloring in this book here. Um, you can read the title. It's not in English, but it's the um, one on top of the land, not under the water. So it's the one with the animals and the uh, insects. And yeah, <laughs> this page I keep being drawn back to. I was going to do this one because it looked a little simpler in fall colors. And then I just keep looking at this page and go, ah, I want to do this one. Although it's going to be double page. It's probably going to be a couple, maybe three, maybe four, maybe five parts. <laughs> but I really wanted to do this. So I'm going to start on this half of the page here first. So if you just want to follow along on what I do in here, I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a long video. Now, the little acorn houses, I've kind of found uh, another one like this one here. And this is in uh, Joanna Basford's World of Flowers. And I think they even have something similar to that in a lot of the um, like fairy books that they have little houses like this. So if you don't have this particular book here, you could always find uh, a page similar in another book and follow along. Now I'm going to use what I have on my desk and right now I have Sergeant Arts on my desk. You can find the same color palettes in the Prismacolors uh, probably every set you have because I'm using basic uh, color for this. I'm just going to do the uh, little houses first. And I pulled out, uh, this one is called Tan. And if you look at it, it's kind of a yellow ochre. Okay. I have Maze, which is a little bit darker. So yellow ochre, brown ochre. <laughs> you can find those in anything. Uh, light brown, which is going to be a light brown in just about every set. A dark brown, which is going to be, again, dark brown in any set. We have white and black, any set you have. And then I have rust. Now rust can be um, more of like a pumpkin orange or a terracotta or a you have something in that line in any of your other sets. It's just kind of a red brown. So any of your sets that have a red brown in it, you can add that into that color. And then I have um, daisy yellow, which is a cream-ish color. It's a kind of a yellow cream. So any of that in any of sets. These Sergeant Arts do not have numbers on them. They just have names. So Boom, there we go. Those are the ones I'm going to use. And I'm going to be coloring, like I said, the acorns. Now we have the acorn houses over here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And then we have little acorns over on this side. So I will be bringing some of that color right over here to the acorns that are on the trees. So we have a pile of acorns here. We have some up here and a tiny little section over here. So that'll bring our colors across the page in a set of three. And I'm going to do three of these houses, or at least three of them, in one kind of way, and then switch the colors up and do the other three maybe a little darker or a little lighter, depending on which colors I choose. So. I'll go ahead and um, get started here on this one. <laughs> Why not? We'll start here and we'll go one, two, and three. So we'll have these kind of separated. And then these three will also have a separation between them. So we'll do these three here in one color fashion. And then the other three in another. So I'm going to start off with the maze. And I'm just going to do kind of what I don't <laughs> move these things out of my way. I don't want to hold those all day long. 
and I'll move you down so we can get a better look at that little house here. So we're just going to, this is our only um, problem is this light here because we are going to have a glow coming down on this house. So when you put this down, you want to put it down really lightly. And since maize is a nice light, light color, it will be okay with that. We just want to remember when we're shadowing the rest of the house, <laughs> we're going to want to be remembering that that is going to be lit up in that area. Okay, so that is our base coat. And we have a little roof up here. <laughs> I guess it's more like a pine cone kind of look up on the top. We're going to put the maze up here too. So I'm just putting on a light area or light coat on the whole area. Even the little chimney and the little stem that goes up. Okay. Oh, we'll even, I don't know what color I'm going to do the door, so I'm going to leave that alone for a bit. But the steps should probably have a little brown on them. And then we'll do the railings a little different too. So I'll just put it on that also. And we'll do these little areas. I'm going to make it easier on myself here. And we'll do the door. <laughs> make it real easy. <laughs> okay, so there we have our first color. And that was all done in maize. And I'm going to do that one and this little one over here and the one down here all the same. So just keep that in mind. We're going to take <clears throat> a little bit of the rest. And we're going to go around. This side is going to be the darker of the sides. So we'll start up here. Again, we're just going to do this lightly. We can go over and do this darker later. Really, really light on this side. A little bit over here. So we don't want to have that color on both sides. But we gotta remember about that light coming in, so put some on the door. And some on the step. So how are you all doing today? I hope you're all doing well. September. 
kids should be going back to school. I don't know if your schools are open. Most of ours over here are um, going to be done via the computer. I don't have any kids in school, so I'm lucky. Gonna darken it up around this door frame too. Okay, and then we're gonna bring in light brown. <laughs> Go over the same areas that we just did. Again, we're doing this lightly. We can always go back and darken it up, but we cannot lighten it up unless we use an eraser. I don't want to use an eraser. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Okay. Then we're going to go in with our dark brown. Sorry, just kind of watching what I'm doing here, trying to at least, so I don't miss anything. <laughs> okay. I shouldn't have darkened that so much, so I'm going to take the eraser in there and just lighten that little bit up there. Did I tell you my eraser is my best friend? <laughs> At least it is in my best friend in my coloring books here. I really like that eraser that I purchased with the um, charger on it. I have not charged it since I bought it. I mean, I b charged it the first day and it's been sitting on my desk and I've been using it a lot. You've seen me use it in the uh, videos I've been doing because I tend to, um, <laughs> you know, Need an eraser every now and then. I mean, I've erased uh, one of the pictures I was doing. I had colored in a pair of pants that I totally erased and redid. And 
totally erased a whole bunch of other items like that little door frame or if I wanted to light something up I just would take that eraser it's got that nice little tiny eraser bit that goes in there and I can get into really tight little spots and erase and actually give highlights to things with it and like I said, it's not been charged since I got it, so it's working really well. And I haven't had, you know, like my old one, I had to change batteries in it a lot. And they were, um, what, the AAA batteries? So those are a little more expensive than the AA's just kind of darkening the door up here and everywhere else we're shading it in okay next color we're going to bring in is black and we're just going to go around the edge here and darken that and again lightly got to do those windows too when define all those little edges a little bit more anyway yeah so I really like that eraser it's one of those that you look at on Amazon you know, when you're kind of perusing what they've got <laughs> yeah, do I like that do I like that and I thought well what the heck it was like um I think it was sixteen dollars for an electric eraser. It was pretty reasonable, I thought. So I thought I'd try it. Then heck, if it didn't work, well, it wasn't going to work. <laughs> but I mean, sixteen dollars was not going to hurt me too much. And teach me a lesson, but I really do like it. And considering I don't have to buy batteries anymore, I'm very happy. I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to look at the <laughs> eraser. Okay, we need to add a little bit more color on this side of the door so this is just the uh, maze I'm putting a little more pressure on it to get a little more color out of it just there gonna go over all those colors again Okay, and then we're going to bring in our daisy yellow or our creamy color. I'm just going to kind of go over everything here, leaving a little bit of um, extra space on that side so we can bring in the white. And we can color in this side a little bit with that light color. And we'll actually stick some in here so I can remember 
that that's going to be a glow. And we'll just bring the glow out over here. It's going to hit that leaf. Probably hit this piece of tree here. And a little up there. That way I have my glow going. I might even hit that little tip. Stick it there. Okay. <coughs> Bring it in a white. It's just our plain white. And we'll add a little bit of that in there too, just on the lightest side. Get all those blended together. This is again a light touch. I don't want to put too much pressure on this. these. This one is the maze, putting more pressure on it. Get the window cells done. Go in with the rest. dark brown. That was a light brown. This is a dark brown. A little bit of the cream, which is Daisy Yellow. Should probably show you that. <laughs> Put a little glow in the window too. Okay. Put a little on the top of the steps. And real, we're going to go in with the dark brown. A little bit of the sorry rest. with the maze.
little more pressure on these areas, get a little darker. We're going over the white we already put down. So it should stay a little lighter in this area. <laughs> a lot of work for a little house. I'm going to um, erase these little scallop things. Because I'm going to do those in black. And I'll either do them in black in the... Um, pencil or I can use a black pen and it all depends on how I'm going to do the um, I'm just going around with the black right now to deepen up these little places under here in the side on this side um, when I decide what I'm going to do with the background is my um, thing if I'm going to do the background in black then I can ink that up too. If I'm going to um, do it in blue or whatever, so I'm just going to leave it for the time being. I'm going to darken that chimney up a little bit. A little stem going up. Really get it dark under here. Blend it back out underneath this leaf. Kind of add a shadow underneath that one. Under there. Under there. Bring in a little white. Just blend that out a little bit. Very lightly. Now finish up that door. I'm not liking the door. I brought in a little rust. A little bit more of the maze. Easy. Just to add a little bit more color in there. So that's one house down. <laughs> we only have six more to go. So I'm going to do this house and this house in that same color palette. So I'll leave those alone and we'll do this one 
which will be the same color as this one and this one. So we're going to change it up a little bit and we're going to do a base coat in the daisy yellow. Okay, can you see this house? <laughs> then we'll go over that so we can add green in there. Green and yellow mix well. Okay, just remember this is a base coat and it's a light coat so I'm not perfect on this. It's okay. I'm going to be adding a lot of different colors on it. So with that as a base coat, we'll bring in tan, which we did not use in the other house. Do we have a light source here? I think that's a lamp. Comes out the same, so it probably lightens up. So I'm going to put a glow down here so I don't forget. Probably will glow on those and the house. Okay. Now we'll go in with the tan. <laughs> We're gonna darken this area up down here. We've got curtains in this house, how cute. I like this stair rail, that's adorable. Looks like it's lined with little pearls or little lights, so I'll be erasing the color out of that. Okay, I'm going to bring in some green colors. So I have a uh, dark olive and olive green. So I'm going to start with the uh, dark olive. Do, do, do. Put your hand behind it. There we go. Just a hint. The camera that I have wants to focus on the black and white. So if I put something out here without touching it, it's going to be all blurry. Put your hand behind it. It'll focus on the lettering, not the black and white paper. You probably already knew that, but <laughs> just in case somebody didn't. I'm going to go up these. I don't know what these are. Part of the roof, but... Do the green color in here.
a little bit in here. Again, this is a dark color, so you want to go light. We're going to put brown on top of it, but I want the green in there. So instead of using the rust and the dark browns, we're using the greens. And this seems to be tied up up here, so we'll add some of that in there. And then this is all tied to the tops. <laughs> like a string of lights, but it's a string of leaves. Okay, I'm going to put a little of the green down here. up the railing a little bit. Okay, then we're going to bring in the um, olive green. So it's a lighter color. bottom two. Okay, now we're going to bring in some browns. So we're going to start off with the light brown, which is the maize. Okay. 
All right, hold on a moment. Okay, we're going to bring in the uh, light brown now. Turn the book. Sorry. I have to see that angle a little better. So I'm just going over all those colors, putting more pressure at the top and then just lightening it as I'm coming down. Be the same here as darkening it under here and then pulling it down lightly. Do a little bit of it under here. I'm pulling it up lightly. We'll go over it again with the light color for that area. Okay, then we're going to bring in our dark brown. Stay over there, guys. <laughs> Just going to darken that up a little bit more. Gonna get it underneath the leaves here. <laughs> We're gonna darken this side up a bit better than the other side. Okay. And we're going to darken up these little things that look like bricks. Just going to put a little dark spot in each one of them. Not in the same spot, <laughs> just kind of random. Darken those up. Darken this corner. little place right here. The door frame. Okay, then we're going to bring in the black and really darken up those little tiny areas. Okay. Then we're going to take mm -hmm. the maze. We're going to go back in these little guys, darken them up a little bit. Do 
you can add every color into those there. Um, you know, bricks are kind of like a piece of wood. They've got multi-colors to them. And I want to add all those in. And I just brought the rust into that, so I want to find a place to put the rust just in a little areas here and there just to make it a little more cohesive. Just touch some spots. And then that brings the rest up to the top of the house. I want to bring back in the um, yellow daisy. Put a little more pressure on this. So it'll blend everything. We didn't even do that window up there. So I kind of think I better do that too. <laughs> okay. I'm going to add some white. Right in here. Keep our highlight shine here. We have to do the curtains too. We might as well do those in green. So this is the dark, dark olive. Olive green. And a touch of the white. Don't want too much dimension in there. We're going to add the yellow daisy. And put in some I have pale green for the plant. And we'll make a little brown rust. And maize pot. <laughs> A bit of that maize in this window frame too. Darken this side a little bit more. Just using the maze.
Okay. So there we go, the two different color houses. So we've got the darker brown and then the brown with green. Probably darken that one up a little bit more. Just added brown or black to it, <laughs> if you're wondering. And the dark brown just looks like it should be a little darker. And the maze on top of those colors. You see what I'm doing? <laughs> I can. I don't know if you can. onto this house too. So we're going to go in with the um, light olive, dark olive, <laughs> light olive. In the center of a couple of those. Then bring in the um, olive green. And because we went over it at the beginning with the light yellow, we still have that in some of the leaves, so we got a nice little variegation going. playing with it like this. Forever. <laughs> I want a little more green in these things. This is why these projects go on forever. Bring in some of that dark olive in here too.
Okay. Okay, guys. I think that's all I'm going to be able to do today. So, like I said, it's probably going to be a five-part thing. But what I'm going to do is, while I'm taking a break between the two parts, part one and part two, I'll go ahead and color in the um, other houses off camera. So I'll just get the houses done so you don't have to wait another, what, 50 minutes for me to get two more houses done. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, it, it's going to be a three of these and three of these. And uh, these are the only two houses that have the lights, but if, if I find another light, I'll do the same thing, the light yellow around it. I did notice that where these little hooks come out, this little house here is like a remodeled house. They got a second bedroom or something. <laughs> it's really kind of cute. It's a little, little hooked on to it, so like these two houses go together. <laughs> It'll be cute. Little trailer. I don't know. I don't even know who lives in these houses because I'm looking at the chipmunks on the other page and for, I mean, they're pretty darn big over there to be fitting in these cute little teeny houses. So we will figure that out later because <laughs> I don't see anything unless these little um, bugs here go in there, but I got, they even look too big to go in the doors. <laughs> Well, just imagine little teeny tiny little guys inside there. Anyway, so uh, like I said, next video you will see all the houses done. I'm just going to finish up three of the brown ones and three of the uh, kind of greener ones. And then we'll come back and do a different part of the page. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I uh, hope everything's going well for you, and I will see you in part two. Take care, everyone. Bye now.